Now that we've gone ahead, built some queues, effects, and some Dylos pixel maps, let's go ahead and talk about updating queues that we've already created. So I'm just going to go ahead, play back some queues here. So I'll play back, put my darts in a color here, place them in a position. Now I've played back some queues, and I'm ready to update. So in this case, I want to update my red preset quick because I know that these darts don't match. So I'll go to my fixtures and presets, select my darts. Then I'm going to go ahead and I can use the on screen or, excuse me, fat finger it and use the wheels. Go ahead and make sure my green and blue are at zero. Now I've got a red that I like. Record, tap my preset tap the merge if it pops up, but I had earlier saved on my record options pop up, making sure to merge in case of conflict. If I hadn't had that merge in case of conflict, I get my merge pop up, I press merge. Now I've updated that preset, I can clear, and the lights are updated in the queue as well as the preset. But the update function is also available and allows us to update queues that we may just need to tweak a little. So in this case, I'll take my darts. I'm going to go to pan tilt. And I'm just going to move the pan a little bit. Maybe they were a little bit off center. We'll send them in a crazy direction to make it obvious. And then I'll press update. Now I have the ability to update any cues or preset that these lights are in. Now, in this case, I see both the cue, the position cue that's in our playback buttons, and also a preset, our position preset of downstage center. I could select both of these, and both the queue and the preset will be updated. However, I don't want to update that preset. It's still good, and it's still valid for when I want the lights to be downstage center. This is a new position that is in a different side of the stage, so I'll just update the queue. I could have also, in this case, built a new preset, then pressed it, and updated the queue, and I would have that new preset for future use. Pressing enter, a couple things are going to happen. My programmer clears out as the queue is updated, and we're good to go. We can now clear if we want to, if there's anything else in the programmer from beforehand, and we're good to go. There's a few other ways to update as well. If we're updating an existing queue, like the one we're working with here, we can go ahead to our playback buttons, and say we want to put this back where it was. I'll select my darts, select their position. I'll change the color. No, I don't want to change the color because color's not in that queue. We'll just stick with position. And then I'm just going to press record queue one and press my button. When I do that, or if the button's already selected, which means it has the red on top of it for a queue list on a fader. It has a white box around it, and the name is displayed at the top of the screen. If that's the case, I could hit enter here. But because I don't have my queue list selected that I'm seeking to update, I'm going to press that queue list. Now, we've gone ahead, and we've selected that queue list. With the playback buttons, it's a little different than hardware. So I'll just record Q1 to make sure it took. We're good to go. So now I've updated that Q by merging in the new contents. I can clear. Nothing changes on the stage. We're in our Q. We're good to go. There are even more options to record and update, merge, and be able to work on the fly with your lights. One, for example, is load. If I wanted to take a few lights with what they're doing here and load them, I can do that. Let's talk about some options. The simple and easiest way to load everything that's not at its default position is to press load twice. Load, load. Now in our programmer, we see everything that's active on our stage, whether it's from faders, buttons, etc. It's loaded into our programmer and added to anything that may have been there. We can also load from just particular fixtures. So in this case, I'll go ahead and I will load just my darts. So I'll press load. I can tap on my group. 
I could also type on the group key and then the number four, because this is group four, press enter. Now in our programmer, we've just loaded the darts. We can take this a step further as well. We can load just a certain parameter or parameter group if we'd like. In this case, load group four, and then we'll go ahead and filter for color. Enter. Now, the darts have loaded. All that we brought in the programmer is the color information. As you can probably see, this is very powerful and definitely can complement merging and updating, as well as creating new cues, where you can play something back on your stage from existing cues, grab selections or all of it, and then record that someplace new as you need. Now, let's dive in a little deeper to some of the other features that Onyx offers.